hello everyone this is peter you're welcome back to my youtube channel now in this particular video tutorial i'll be showing you how you can edit text effects using photo p so without any further ado let's just go straight into this tutorial so the first thing let me just save this burger <laughs> i guess i have quite a number of burger designs so let me just make it name it number two and let's just let me use this one so you can actually use any one of your choice anyway but i'll make it transparent so i'll just make this okay so that you can actually see so let's make it black now if you notice i changed my pixel up so let me make this d then let me use this particular typeface no no pro italics i want to make it italics so i'll just come here and um, give it the padding all right so i will just come here and increase the size all right so i let me let me just leave it like this here so the next thing i'll just copy this place <laughs> sorry I, it was a mistake so let me just delete this should i no let me just leave it Dwa. all right so i can just easily reduce reduce all right so it is like this and um I want to make use of my grid okay let's just make use of dual government so come to re um meet this one and reduce the size all right so i have this particular one here i will just reduce this all right so i think i have okay so i will just double click and i'll make this all caps all right so i will reduce the size i think it will be better if i just you know what let's just increase the size of this d okay let's see let's see let's let me make it 300 the highest i can get so far using this make sure it's at the center you really need to be sure it's at the center then increase this a bit let's see the size please be mindful of your size let me make it 150 okay let's also make sure it's at this center but this time i will just want to take it to the top all right so i have this here so for this one i will want to increase this Dual. all right so i actually have one typeface one text effect that i did some times ago I actually made use of photoshop i prefer making use of photoshop for my text effect it's quite easy and for using photo p2 is also easy but <laughs> i just prefer so let's just save this all right so i'll come here make it transparent then uh, we will just okay i should we make it black i think um the white color will, will still suffice but let's just make it black for the sake of curiosity and um so but the white color should do anyway because it won't be having any effect on it on the color the color won't be having any effect on it so we have dual government uh, okay let's see it's at this is at the very center this is i'm just trying to look at their position their rotation just to see if they are equal all right so i can now gladly i can now gladly let me think using the size of this a bit should do 
all right so i can now dwell government but the way it sounds as if this dwell was also <laughs> okay let's just save this i so why just wait while it's saving we'll go to photopea.com so this is the name of the site so i will come to i'll come to this here then i'll just come to open so i have this text particular text effect in this file so i'll be making use of this text effect but you can also use it for any kind of text effect so i want to make use of best text style all right so just wait while it loads okay so i'm um, downloading so this is the interface of this is what you're going to get once you successfully ins um, inserted your psd file into photo p so the next thing you'll be coming to is just you want to edit this you'll come to this layers panel so this is the layers panel now um you will notice there are some text here on this background i don't want it i want it to be transparent okay so i will come here click on this eye automatically it's on this background it gets rid of the background and those texts that are there please be mindful of it and also there are some particular psd file when you want to use you will have you will be seeing some this particular follow this icon this is going to be you may be seeing it outside may not be in a, in a in a in a folder as it is so all you just need to do is that's what you're just going to make use of without coming to come to this effect so the person actually created this psd file for this for a reason grouped this one so some subsequent one you may be seeing you may not see them here all right so all you just need to is double click on this follow that box not the text so where the box is double click on it so i can now choose to hide this one then i'll click on file open and place so it, it takes me to my gallery then i'll just come to recent okay so this is the particular one we saved all right so i will just click on the layers panel again and um, so we have this so i can just choose to increase okay now you can see my government was actually very very small but let's just make we'll come to here and um save smart objects so it's going to take some time while it loads but <laughs> that's why i love photoshop all right so let's just wait it's taking time so it's going to give you an option smart object has been updated so then what you just need to do is click on this times this this particular one here you click on this this particular option here you click on this cancel i've clicked on it so i'm waiting it to give me a command when you you're done saving when it is going to bring some, some at times it may bring this kind of option at times it may not bring it so just click on this council here so this is what you get dual government you can see it's quite amazing so you can still come here and just come here and edit if you don't want the shadow let's just see it you can see it has taken away the shadow but i actually want the shadow you can come here and edit the it has so many effect drop shadows so many of the effects here so you can let's hide this you can just if you're good with photo p you can hide any of this here so we are done with this so just come to see come click on this one file come to export as png please be mindful you are saving as a png and here's vg pixel app does not support svg file if you save with jpeg it will have black background so just click on save
so it's going to download download again yes all right it's downloading let me just go straight to pixel lab i think i'm not making i'm not in need of my data again all right so we have this here i'm sorry so we have this my phone is kind of sluggish now i don't know wow this has been giving me this much headache recently has been kind of sluggish recently all right so we have this here dual government okay so i will just increase the size so this is what we have this is what we have so this is how you can edit a text a psd text effect in for your pixel app designs all right so that is but they, they are not editable here but you can actually edit them in photo p and there are times you may actually not want to make use of a text effect you just come here okay let's let's just let's close this particular one click on all right no no no, no. double click on this yes we we'll tap this try this option earlier okay the t I click on t then i'll just okay zazix the size i'll have to reduce the size Okay, let me make use of three, no, just 300. Let me make use of 250. Okay, there's this. Okay. Then I'll just come to file and save smart objects. Oh, sorry. I have to just put on my data. <laughs> Save smart object. So if you don't have, probably you've not gone through Pixel Lab that same way, you can also try this option. Let's just wait while it saves this not smart object. So the smart object has been saved. Oh God. Oh God. I okay. I'll come to this. No, this one. My arrow two. Okay. All right. So I have this here. I'll just click on this same console and click on okay. So it's now going to give me that particular effect it gave us for the dwarf so let's just wait oh god it's taking time so we are having this is what we have all right so i can all right so this is what we have so let me see and try and see i can just it's not giving me oh god all right i want to transform this control all right so I want to increase the size. Oh god, this thing is actually giving me a dick. But uh, let's see. Okay, it's it has I've been mean, patient with this quite a lot. So once you if yours is not actually hanging as this, you can see it's Steve. You just try and adjust it. Once you've gotten the size you want, you just come to file and you save smart objects or you can still click on this arrow key if it's just going to work but no just save smart object once you save the smart objects then you can now after you export as png the same way we did it for the other time all right so when you're done with that so when you're done with that you can now come to pixel app. i think my phone is kind of sluggish i just want to have we'll, we'll be working on it now all right so you can now bring it to your pixel lab and use it for any design of your choice 
all right so that will be all for this particular video god so see you in the next video